Hey there guys, Ishek from Shectic here and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take your virtual meetings, seminars, webinars, um, anything that you're going to do through like a Zoom call or whatnot, and stream it to multiple platforms at the same time. This will allow you to engage um, with audiences across all sorts of platforms, increase your engagement, and possibly reach audiences you've never reached before. Uh, sit tight and let's get into this. Cool. So first things first, in our browsers, we're going to go to a website called caster.io. Now, caster.io is an awesome streaming tool that allows you to stream your content to multiple platforms at the same time, which is absolutely awesome. And now in our case for running a seminar or a webinar where we want to put our content out to multiple streams and get interaction across these various different platforms, this is the perfect tool for us. Which makes it even more better is Castor.io has integrated support for Zoom. Live stream your Zoom calls or your Zoom uh, webinar or presentation through Castor to all the various platforms you need such as Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube, etc. Various other platforms. If you can get a stream key and the stream server out of the uh, application, you're going to be able to st live stream it through Castor and do it at the same time as all the other platforms you are streaming to. Now it's really easy to say, sign up for, you just need to give them an email address, set up a password and you can try it for free for a 7 day trial um, and see if you like it. Um, no credit card needed to be entered and yeah, you'll be good to go and you can follow along on this tutorial. And if you really like it, the base, uh, the base cost is only $9.99 which is absolutely not bad and worth the price. But cool. So once you've signed up for Casa.io, you'll be taken to the Casa.io Casa dashboard, which looks like this. And in here, you'll be able to create a new stream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our first new multi-stream. So what you do is you simply click the create new button in the center of your screen. Uh, you click new multi-stream. Give it a cool stream name. We're gonna call this one uh, Shex. Awesome webinar. Make sure you go tune in and um, choose your hosting region. So usually you'd want to choose something close to where you are located. And for me, the closest Australia, Sydney, um, help with latency and whatnot. Hit save when you're happy. Choose your details and boom, you have your, um, your streaming dashboard here. So what you have here is your streaming key and the streaming server. Um, you're able to directly uh, connect to your webcam as you can see there um, or what we're going to do is we're going to actually publish a source into the stream that we're going to broadcast out to our various platforms now what we want to do is stream our zoom call our zoom meeting for our seminar our webinar um, as per se so what you're going to want to do is uh, log into zoom and open up zoom so I'm just going to pull this to the side of where we got to open in a tab here all right cool I'm in zoom now um, so I'm already logged in here and I've got an account um, to do what we're going to do to live stream our zoom feed you're going to need at least a pro account an educational account or an enterprise account um, you most likely would have the enterprise or um, educational account if you are either working for a business or you're going to university you can have access to that educational account essentially be those accounts allow you to live stream as an option I'll show you in a second here so what we're going to do is go to go to my account once you've logged in of course you're going to want to go to you're going to want to go to settings on the sidebar there under personal and then you're going to want to go into the meeting tab and in the meeting tab you want to go in meeting advanced that'll take you into these whole load of uh, options here and you're going to want to scroll down for a little bit and find an option called allow live streaming meetings and so let's say I'll turn that off for now. You're going to want to turn that on. And so by default, Facebook, Workplace by Facebook and YouTube will be ticked on. You're also going to want to tick custom live streaming service on here. Um, the provide specific instructions uh, box, you can put whatever you want in there. Usually it's just for some instructions um, when someone is trying to connect to your stream. So I'm just going to put uh, test instructions like that 
You're going to click save. Awesome. And then what you're going to do want to do is host a meeting. So what you're going to want to do is uh, I'm going to go with video on just so we can see ourselves here. Um, if this is your first time, it will, of course, uh, Zoom will install an EXE, but if it's not, it'll automatically open a Zoom window for you if you haven't used Zoom before. Um, and you're going to go click join. And so we will join this. Oh, trippy. Awesome, right? So join my computer audio. And awesome. Now we're all in the Zoom video here. Um, this is now my Zoom call. Easy, good to go. Participants one, you can now invite as many people as you want. Um, copy an invite link and just bring them in. So now we've got our Zoom meeting going up and running. I'm just gonna drag that to my other screen so we got some more real estate. And bring back, so back to our caster.io dashboard here. So we're still waiting for a stream and uh, we, we're not streaming anything at the moment. Uh, we're gonna try to, and uh, we're not streaming to anything as well. So first things first is we're gonna wanna connect our Zoom to uh, caster.io. Um, so to do this, uh, go down to the bottom of your call window, click more, and then click live on custom live streaming servers. Uh, click that. And it will take you to the settings account and it's going to be asking you for a streaming URL, a streaming key and a live streaming page URL. So I'm going to drag that across there so we can easily copy things over. So the streaming URL is the uh, server here, the, um, the caster IO streaming server. So we're going to paste that in. The streaming key is this quite self-explanatory is the streaming key here. Boom. And the live streaming page URL, we're gonna set that to caster.io. So simply copy that. Good as gold. And then go go live. And then we'll do preparing to live stream for the meeting. Uh, we'll do a little bit of background work here and it should eventually connect. So we'll wait for this to connect up done sweet so when it's done it will just go back to the caster io website um, which is cool and then as you can see I open our dashboard here we are now live streaming my screen uh, my obs recording is being streamed live and via this which is awesome cool to see now you're saying okay we're live and streaming but we're not actually going anywhere um, this is not actually going to anything at the moment um, no one can see this. So how do we do that? That's really simple with caster.io. You just got to simply add a platform. Um, you have these all these very op various options, Facebook Live, YouTube events. So YouTube events um, is also just, you can use your regular YouTube channel. Um, Twitch, Periscope, Steam, you know, you've got all these um, third party streaming apps um, that you can use to stream off, um, which is awesome. Sportscaster, Etc. and you can stream to all of them at the same time. So I'm going to add a YouTube uh, stream here first and they all have, they usually have uh, two ways to connect your account. So for example, YouTube, I want to stream live to YouTube. Um, the first thing I want to do is you can go connect to YouTube events. If you click this button, it will then take you to all your Google signed in accounts for YouTube and then you can go and click on your relevant account, uh, simply allow it and then boom, you'll be streaming, live streaming straight into a YouTube account, easy as that. Now, since this is a test video and I don't want it to go live uh, at the moment, a uh, really simple way to do it is to go into YouTube, click create, go live. This will also be personally a way I would do it as well. I wouldn't go straight into a live session. Um, this is a cool way just to test yourself and um, whatnot. Yeah, we're not enabling monetization on it. Private, only I can view. Uh, is it made for kids? Sure. No, no, it's not really. Um, Shack tick, test, live stream, save. I won't take you through all the uh, all the uh, hassle of how to set this up. 
If you want to learn how to do this, comment down below and I'll show you how to set up a YouTube stream. Um, but a really cool thing here is we're going to want to do the setup with server key option instead of connecting to YouTube events directly via your YouTube account. Um, so all you need when you do this is you need a streaming server and a streaming key. And to grab those, we just go back into YouTube. Um, you have your stream key up here. Put that in. And your stream URL is the stream server. Like so. Then say create platform. Cool, it adds it. It's recognized it. And then we're going to add another platform we want to stream on. And that's going to be Twitch. Uh, so for Twitch, uh, I am happy to go right into this account to show you a flavor of how easy it is. Cool, service can successfully. So hot tip is don't click off this tab um, until that connected saving platform uh, loading circle is completed. Otherwise you will have to redo it again. Um, so just wait till that completed. You'll get a message saying it's connected and you'll be good to go. Cool. So now that once you've got Twitch and YouTube on there, of course you can go and add more. You can add Facebook Live, etc, etc. I just keep the tutorial not too long. Here I'm just going to do it YouTube and Twitch at the same time. You've got Twitch uh, on there uh, and you've got your source, you've got your Zoom set up, you've got everything ready, you're ready to go live on these platforms. Um, so. Uh, the fastest way is to click this toggle all button and it'll toggle all of them to live. Or if you want, you can individually toggle on what platform you want to stream live to. Maybe you want to do a staggered, uh, uh, maybe you want to do it staggered. So you want to go f live on YouTube first, then live on Twitch, or you want to just go both at the same time. So I'm going to just toggle all. There we go. So both our YouTube and Twitch, and then you'll see that uh, it will be connected. Twitch is still connecting. Boom, 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 connected. So you now you should be live on both those platforms. Another really awesome thing I like about um, Caster.io is you see what you're outputting. Um, so you can see your bit rate, um, what your resolution is, and what frames per second you're using, and even some more details in terms of the codecs and whatnot you're using as well. So what we're going to do is jump into YouTube first. Let's see if we are streaming. Boom. So if I go and copy that link, I click. Hey, you can see our live stream is going on now. And uh, we are streaming live, um, which is awesome. And you can see that we're streaming live and that's, that's really cool. Let's look at uh, Twitch. So I'm apparently live now here as well. And there we are as well. We're live. There's a little bit of a delay. It's expected when you're doing these kind of things, but it's really cool to see. So now we're live on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And so one of the really cool aspects of this is like if you are presenting something, you're doing a seminar, webinar, you're able to reach a much more diverse audience. So you're able to go into these different platforms and you could have, um, you could essentially have the the ability to look at your youtube chat your twitch chat put them next to each other you could have your facebook live chat have them all together have them all those platforms streaming them all at once and you could have various sets of forums you can have people interacting with your videos um, in multiple ways and since this is also a zoom uh, call you can use zoom's internal features such as their waiting room feature um, their open links and whatnot to allow people to join your call come in and out you can host some podcasts really cool interviews um, even a little news segment would be really awesome Awesome. Um, and yeah, the possibilities in this is quite endless. But yeah, this is really suited for people that are trying to do some large skills, trying to interact with the audience, trying to gain a bigger base, or if you want to do a seminar, even like something like an online lecture uh, or online class could really benefit from this. Like if your students prefer certain platforms over the others, um, you can just ask them to go on these. They don't need to sign up for a new, uh, another account, another platform. You know, some people don't like that. Um, this tool makes that uh, makes it easy for them. Um, for anyone to come and access your content as easy as possible and yeah that's essentially how you do it 
Um, that's the gist of it. Um, that's Caster.io. Um, that's how you can uh, get your Zoom call uh, directly into a stream, uh, put it out to multiple platforms, gain some, uh, engage with your audiences on virtually on so many different platforms. Um, and yeah. Awesome. Now that really concludes our tutorial. Hope it was useful and um, uh, interesting to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I'll leave them down below in the comments and I'll try and answer them myself or someone else in the, uh, the community might try and help out. Uh, and as you can see, uh, Castor.io is an awesome tool to allow you to stream to these multiple platforms. Yeah, I've shown you how you could do it with a Zoom call and uh, taking your seminar and your lectures to another level. But you could also do this with any other kind of streams that you're doing, such as your gaming stream, and maybe you're running a podcast. Um, there are many different applications. Uh, many different ways that custom.io could be applied to your situation, uh, making it awesome. And one of the really highlights of that, um, of the software, of using it is how simple it is and how the benefits of reaching all these multiple platforms at the same time is allowing you to engage with these newfound audiences and provide you with more eyes on your content, which is awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Take care, and as always, I've a one, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.